To think about life in the next billion years implies a bold postulatum, the postulatum of survival. If nothing drastic is done internationally very soon, the human adventure will turn short into an accident and into the rapid extinction of mankind. a chance because it seems that a new kind of consciousness is beginning to develop in the people's mind.
want to reach year one billion, mankind has to manage the most difficult period, the next hundred years. Why is it the most difficult time lapse? Because our expansion has suddenly gone into an explosive mode on all counts. The pyramid of life would have gone.
progress in all sciences have been so rapid, also in an exponential way, that all our concepts in astronomy, in nuclear physics, in geophysics, in behavior, in genetics, in physiology, have been radically changed. Then, if science is to make such leaps in 30 years, what about in a million years? And in 1,000 times a million years?
coming 25 to 100 years, whether by social chaos or by nuclear holocaust or by any other unpredictable means, a tragedy of unprecedented extent is inevitable. The sooner we react in a radical revolutionary fashion, the lesser the tragedy, but tragedy there will be. So let's be optimistic.
Emphasis on intellectual, artistic, scientific development rather than consumer product expansion. Re-evaluation of what happiness is. Songs, birds and flowers rather than guns, cars and money.
explosion of populations, poisoning of life, eradication of hundreds of species, assassination of the oceans. If nothing drastic is done internationally very soon, if nothing drastic the is human done adventure will turn soon, short into an accident and into the rapid extinction of mankind. Independently, in another corner, or in several other corners of this or of another universe, other creatures may have gone about as far as man in one billion years.
As far as I am concerned, today I know I am invited in the sea. Far in the Atlantic, dolphins, for an instant, suspend their runs to stare at me and flaunt their skills. I step in tenderly, skin to skin with the sea. In crystal clear water, the range of my sight shrinks to the size of a church, all built in stained glass blue. Silence-minded, I breathe as softly as a pearl. I glide down, further down. A threatening night settles. Ultramarine glimmers filter in from nowhere. A dash of consciousness, I rest my descent. From heroic recalls of forgotten reasons, safety, computations, all from another world. No more able to tell up from down, north from south. Surface has long vanished. Dolphins have fled away. A sudden touch of fear. In trance, I close my eyes. Behind my ears, I feel the pull of gravity that water filched from me by way of wedding gift. I stop breathing to hear my dolphins' distant songs. I half open my lips and salt wakes up my taste. I prod a drifting salp to sense its flimsy flesh. Salp and to sense